Money can't buy you happiness, but it sure fucking helps. Welcome to episode four of jquinn.life. In this episode, we talk about happiness and money. We like to tell ourselves that if we had all the money in the world, that if we weren't worried about our bills, that if we just made a certain amount of money, if we made $15 an hour or $75,000 a year or whatever the secret number is, that we'd be happy. That we would be able to do all the things we wanted to do. That if we just attained a certain level, we wouldn't need our job anymore. This episode was inspired by my sister who made a post on Facebook saying that life is so kick-ass right now. She's got a new job and doing great at it. But it's in something she doesn't want to be doing. If you're great at something you don't want to be doing, are you really that great? And she came to me and she asked me a question about what it is she actually did want to do. You see, because most people don't do what they actually want to do. Most people are stuck paying bills, student loans, car payments, house payments. Most people are stuck paying bills and not doing what they actually want to be doing. The desire to be happy is outweighed by the necessity to make money. Most of us are too afraid to ever start down the path of what might make us happy. We're too afraid because the fear of not being able to pay those bills is stronger than our desire to make ourselves happy. One question I always ask people I just meet, usually strangers that I drive around from time to time, I always ask them the same thing. What do you do? Usually I can tell by their voice if they're doing something they actually like doing. They get all this enthusiasm about what they do with their life on a day-to-day basis. But the far majority of people always have this sense in their voice that they're afraid to tell me what they do because they don't want it to represent who they are. They aren't their job. And I understand that, but I want to get across to them that not other people will understand that. You are your job. You are what you do for the majority of the day to most people. The next question I ask is a lot more important. What would you like to do if you made enough money doing it? You see, there's a difference in that question. There's an idea behind that question. And that question is very simply, what would you do if money wasn't the issue? Because our whole life, everything that we've ever wanted to do always seemed impossible. It always seemed that we created reasons and excuses for why we couldn't do it. You hide behind all these excuses like I won't make enough money. Well, I have a secret to tell you. That secret is this. We live in a world in which your ability to make money doing what makes you happy is more available than at any time in human history. You can write a book. You can start a small business. You can invent something right now, but we're too afraid. We're too afraid of having to always pay bills. We're too afraid of constantly being behind the ball that we never get started on our dreams and instead we stand in solitude with everyone else around us. Sedentary, lazy, unwilling to change, unavailable for our dreams to come and hit us. Happiness isn't about the amount of commas you have in your fucking bank account. Happiness is about chasing dreams. It's about setting up a goal, setting up a plan to get to that goal, and doing it. You know, it's funny, I meet a lot of people day in and day out. I met this lawyer this one time, and he told me how he hated being a lawyer. He hated his job. Yeah, sure, he made a lot of money, and you know, he had a nice uh, Rolex on with a beautiful suit on, but he wasn't happy with what he was doing. I asked him, If money wasn't the issue, what would you do? What would you love to do? He told me that he wanted to be a chef. He wanted to be the head chef of some restaurant or cook food or own a restaurant where he could cook every day, cook elaborate meals, be able to feed people on a regular basis and be known as someone who could cook. And it was his passion, it was all he did. He watched the Food Network. He had an incredible kitchen at his home where he cooked constantly. And all he ever fantasized was quitting his job and just to become a cook. But you see, he was still relatively young He's about 35, and yeah, he made a lot of money, but at the same time, he still had a tremendous amount of debt. 
he was stuck. He was stuck doing something he didn't want to be doing. And he couldn't escape. And his biggest fear was that he would never really do what he wanted to do with his life. And I asked him, why, why did you become a lawyer then? And he said that his dad was a lawyer. It was, it was easy. His dad before him was a lawyer. His family lineage was always to be in law. And so it just seemed like a very easy transition. His dad already had a job set up for him. He already had a practice ready for him. He was going to be making guap his entire life. And yet he was still unhappy. How much money would it take for you to start your dreams? What could I pay you? What could I pay you to get started doing what you wanted to do? Happiness isn't success. Happiness isn't always paying the bills on time. Happiness sometimes means you've got to sacrifice what's comfortable for what you're chasing. You see, because when you're struggling and, and you're trying to create something and develop something, that's truly your happiness. It's not an end point. You don't go and buy happiness at the fucking happiness store. There is no happiness location that you can get to. Happiness is the constant struggle, the journey to get to where you want to be. And if you don't chase that journey, if you're constantly wondering what if, why not? Maybe someday. Or you say all those things to justify your current lifestyle. You're always going to be unhappy. Why? Because the seed in your soul that's creating that innate desire to become more won't allow you to be comfortable. Today, I want you to take an action. I want you to answer that question for yourself. If money wasn't the issue, if money wasn't the issue, what would you do with your life day in and day out? I'll be honest with you. What I would do is exactly what you're looking at. I'd make videos day in and day out. I would sit here and talk to you guys, motivate you guys, teach things that I've learned along the way, interview interesting people. My dream is to do this. And while it scares the shit out of me, because I don't like being in front of the camera, because I don't like talking to some stranger or putting myself out there, I do it. Because innately, it's my desire to create that has me here talking to you guys. It's not about being comfortable. It's not about knowing all the right things. It's about starting. It's about creating. It's about the pursuit of happiness. And in that pursuit, we find our journey to happiness. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck doing shit you don't want to do. Catch you guys next time.